Hello everybody, we'll be back again with an informational video on how to take out the blue dragon here or at the palace gates. I'm gonna take him out here because he keeps killing me whenever I get into range and try to run up past him and it's just getting tiresome having to fight through all these enemies over and over again. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to equip the soul form ring, that, the cling ring that increases your maximum health, and you're gonna to wanna to put on fire resistant ring and some good fire resistant armor and get yourself down to clever rat range Put the Clever Rat Ring on and the Ring of Magical Sharpness on and hit him with some Soul Rays. And he has some pretty consistent timing. So what you're going to want to do is hit him as he is roaring fire. Ba-dink! And as you can see, I hit him there. Ba-dink! And it does pretty good damage. So just keep doing that and eventually you'll kill him. Just like that. Just like that. Be a good dragon, and take my soul race to the face, Liz. Blink. And it shouldn't take you that long, not long at all, in fact. It took me about, probably about 10 minutes. Maybe less than that. I, I don't know, I didn't really, I didn't really record the whole thing. All I recorded, oh, I missed. All I recorded was just him on his last limbs. And, yep, this is pretty much about it. And if you take him out here, he'll be gone by the gates. He won't be able to bother you there, or you can take him out at the gates, whichever you feel comfortable. And when you run low, just put on more spice and fill up. And yep. And if you don't have clever rat ring and ring of magical sharpness, you'll be doing shit damage. Oops, I missed. Uh, I already tested how much damage I did with just rat ring on, and I only did 88. With both on, I do 120 something, 129. Not bad damage, but really good. And you just keep spamming it until he is dead. And eventually, he will not show up until the next game. So, this is how you take out the dragon for anyone who is wondering. He is annoyingly easy to kill because he doesn't actually hit you from his brain. But he is a pain in the ass having to constantly run by and die every time. So for anyone who wants to do this, for anyone who is magic based, will be doing more damage than I am, but apparently I am not. Even though I started as a priest, I did want to start off with some decent magic, and or decent magic power and decent MP. I think that's what you get, uh, start off at, I'm not sure. But I started off as a priest because not only that, I'm always a warrior or, or a, a physical based attacker. So I wanted to be, I wanted a class that's not so physical based, even though I still do a lot more physical based attacks. Uh, it's just how I like to play. But for once, I started off with a different class, even though it wasn't the greatest of class to start with. For me, at least. Just because I'm not used to using a freaking shitty ass mace, unless it's Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 has a great mace. But enough about that. See how we're damaging him? We're nearly halfway. He's not difficult at all, and you'll actually get a trophy out of it. Not that many not many people care about trophies. I care about specific... I actually care more about achievements. But this is the only game I care about trophies in because it is Demon Souls. So I'm actually going to complete it here. And I already got it from my last video that I had of me killing this thing. And just soul ray away, and he'll be dead in a matter of minutes. As you can see, we're already three minutes in. This is going by very quickly. If you know the timings, uh, watch closely as his head goes up, spire, and by the time he hits, his head will be down. And fire! And fire! Basically, that's his consistent timing, and you'll hit him every time when you do it. And... Oh! 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 Oh god, that's new! I guess he flies away? What? He... he... okay! So he flies away when you do that, when you beat him down to half health. Does he come back? Oh god! Oh god! This is new! So I'm gonna heal. There's a fat official there that's probably gonna bother me. I'd really rather not have low health when I uh, run up to him. Oh man, I didn't know that. Oh shit. That's because I fought him at the palace gates. Oh wow, well, okay. I guess he moves. Okay then. For now, people will know that. And there's this fat official here, he's gonna rub his belly. Rub his belly, rub his belly, rub your belly. 
Ah! Do it, man! Come on! Fat man! No fat man! I really dislike him, so I'm just gonna fight him here. Ugh! That was bad. That was very bad! So we're gonna heal up real quick. And prepare for our next on onslaught. Come on, fatty! No fireballs! No fireballs! And then he's gonna freaking be a dick. Yeah, he's gonna be a dick. So we're just gonna soul ray him from a far distance. To make sure I survive this and not have to redo. There we go. Okay. Fatty's dead. Fatty is dead. Okay. Now we're gonna run. Oh, that's actually a good way to get rid of the dragon so you can just go run over to it and not have to worry about it. Okay then. Now we're gonna go to the second part. I didn't realize he did that because I've never done that before, so that's new for me anyway. Oh, and as you can see, the dragon's no longer here normally. He's probably... Yep, there he is. He will fly straight to the building. This time, though, in order to hit him, you actually have to be right underneath him, which kind of sucks. So, I'm going to need to repeat the process, which I'm going to die if I get hit. Which sucks balls. So, we're probably not going to be able to have either or clever rat ring on or that which kinda sucks but hey what can you do so we're gonna want water veil and we're gonna wanna use this use this and book up to him I'm not good with this timing this is bad timing well, not very bad, in fact. I made it! Alright! For once, I made it! So now, this timing is a little easier to hit him with, because he doesn't often move his head around, and you just keep spamming. And I don't have my Clever Rats ring on, so I'm doing much less damage now. So this is going to take a little longer, sadly. Yeah, no. Soul rays are the best for what you want to hit him with. You just keep doing that and eventually he'll fall. And uh, sadly I don't have my clever rat ring on so it's either that or my death. And the only way for me to get it on is to be weakened by another enemy because if I have my soul ring on and then equip it, my maximum health goes down and I'm no longer in range. So I had to go back and get hit a couple times by some archer in order to get him there and hit him. And now we just wait until his death. And eventually, he'll be gone. And you don't gotta worry about him. And this is the most consistent range because you can actually just stand back and fire at him without him hitting you. There's another way to do it where he's still breathing fire, but that involves either being close enough to the point where he is breathing fire. Last time I actually did it, Bjor was actually alive, reason being why he was breathing fire. But it's basically the same thing. You wait for his head to move, uh, uh, breathe fire, and then you spam it, and then by the time he hits, he'll move his head back down. Basically the same thing. Except this time now, he's not gonna move. And if I was doing the damage I was doing earlier, it'd be much faster. So we're just gonna keep spamming until he's gone. 58 damage ain't bad still, it does weaken him, it just takes a little longer. See, it's about 10 minutes already. Not long at all. This is much faster than arrows. Unless you have good arrows, which I don't care for bow and arrows, <laughs> and my magic is not the greatest. I'm doing weak damage even with the freaking ring on. And if I had some old spice, it'd go much faster, but I don't. So we're just gonna boom, a boom, boom, and he's almost done though, so we're getting there. And yeah. Just keep doing this and eventually the dragon will fall and you'll be free of him for this entire game. Until New Game Plus. And then the only dragon I have yet to kill, which is kind of worthless, unless you want the soul of it, because if you kill the red dragon, it actually will give you a soul, apparently. Uh, that's what I saw. 
Uh, I never did it before. And he's almost done. I can barely see his health, though. I can't really see it very well. Okay, keep doing it, keep doing it. Okay, now I can see his health. A little bit better now that it's kind of touching the building there. Because it's a little bright in the sky, so I can hardly see it. If you have the health overlapping the archway here, it's easier to see. He's almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. Come on. Come on, dragon. One more. No. Oh, and he's dead. And that, my friends, is how you take out the blue dragon. Or wait. Does the red dragon not give you flame? A soul? Do they both give you souls? I know he gave you a soul. I know that because I killed him before. And that is how you kill him. And I'm going to use his soul here. Bruce. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the tutorial on how to kill the blue dragon above the palace gates, and if you attack him on the first bridge, he'll actually fly over there, leaving him vulnerable once you get up to him, as you saw, and he will not he will not see him right, at, right after making it past the two bad officials where you first normally would see him and then he'd fly up. He'll actually be straight above the uh, doorway right by that leads to a lot. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Comment and subscribe as it helps me out greatly. I love you all, and if I helped you out, you're welcome. Just make sure, if you can, get Ring of Magical Sharpness, which increases your magical damage but lowers magical defense, and equip Clever Rat Ring, which below 30% of your health will increase your attack power. Not only attack, but magical power and miracle power as well, or spell power, or whatever it is. Spells and miracles, as I'm used to Dark Souls, so... There, you're welcome. I love you all. You guys are great. Have a good day and enjoy the video when you watch it. See you all next time. Bye!